All right, folks, so I've been asked about what dish should I get? Now there's different dishes. It's kind of like not every, everyone's needs are gonna be different for what they're looking for. Now, if you're looking just to start in the free to air hobby, you wanna aim a satellite dish at the sky and see what channels that are up there that are free and take a look at it. I would highly recommend this dish here, which is a 36 inch, 90 centimeter free to air satellite dish. and an HD LMB. Make sure that you do, do get a dish that has the LMB holder on it. I've actually provided several links on my Facebook page and also on my YouTube uh, videos with uh, eBay Rover referral links. And by clicking on those, you'll help me by, uh, by, by uh, um, if you wanna buy something on eBay, it just throws me a little bit of a commission for uh, my help in helping you find information on free to air. This would be a 36 inch dish, kind of a brownish color. I have one, a Geosat Pro, uh, very similar to this. It performs very well. You wanna secure the bars so that it doesn't move the LMB. And so you might be thinking, well, the LMB is much smaller than your LMB from a subscription service because it's just got one LMB pointed at one satellite. You can do a motor and or do like a bracket thing where you have a bracket going across where you can uh, connect to multiple satellites. But I'm just recommending what if you just want to start in the hobby and want to get something to get your feet wet in the hobby. This would be for a dish it would be something that you'd uh, probably want to look at getting first. So the LMB. Now this one just is a, a one output, but if you wanted to get a dual output and run multiple coax cables in your house and watch it on multiple TVs. But for a starter, one output should be enough. And an LMB, a dual output LMB is about $50. It all depends on uh, how, you f how you're feeling in the hobby. Like you might just want it for one TV um, for listening to radio. Another thing too is with a dish like this, I can uh, use it to listen to radio, uh, a lot of radio um, channels on Galaxy 19. It's kind of like the shortwave radio of satellite because there's so many uh, different radio channels on there. So you'll see other satellites out there, uh, this one here. The thing is, you wanna watch out for the shipping cost. So like I got, I looked at this one here, and for international, sh uh, because it probably sees me that it sees that I'm in Canada, it would be uh, $20 shipping and handling, but they also say that it's um, free shipping in the United States on this seller here. So just to look at what it has here. It's got free shipping. So this would be what you'd be looking for if you want to get started in the hobby of free to air. So I, I was looking at this deal here for $119 plus in Canada would be like $20 um, shipping and handling. But I noticed this dish here. So this one I've been promoting quite a bit on my channel. It comes with an LMB where a lot of them, if, if, if you need an LMB, so if you're looking for an LMB, the, these things will come with an LMB, which are basically these things are pretty small, easy to set up. The MBC MUX, if you're interested in that, I'd recommend a bit of a larger dish because it seems that uh, at least on my dish, at least in the area I'm at, I can get it pretty good on my four foot dish, but uh, not on my 36 inch. So this 39 inch dish might be what you will be looking for if you're looking for some of the network backhaul feeds like NBC and the cozy TV feed over on 103 West and also uh, for the Infowars news channel I can get it on my 36 inch but I, I've had uh, breaking up and pixelating but then I have no problem getting on my larger dish so this 39 inch probably be a better bet for those channels where 30 if you're interested not interested in that but interested in everything else the 36 inch will be just fine they're either linear and they're standard LMBs. So that would mean the input frequency would be 10,750. And then if you get a universal KU, ba uh, KU band LMB, it will be a 10,600 a 10, input frequency to uh, for the LMB. So usually the LMB there on the LMB will let you know what, uh, uh, what to set it at. Like here it says 10, 
0.75 gigahertz low. And that's usually the uh, frequency I would set, set something like that on. So one thing I found is there's not a whole lot of stores that will sell free to air equipment. So there's not a whole lot of stores that sell free to air equipment. There might be the odd electronic store that might have like a dish or a satellite receiver. But the big place where I find you can find stuff is on eBay or and other online retailers. And that, that's just where I order mine. I'm, uh, it just seems to be that you don't go into Best Buy or Walmart and pick up a free to air satellite dish receiver. So here is here they are on eBay. So this video is just kind of to help you find this kind of stuff on eBay. Now eBay is quite good to me. They I have a referral plan with them. So uh, if you click on the referral links, basically from me helping you, point you in the right direction, it's just going to throw me a nice little commission on selling the receiver, and it's no extra cost to you. So I don't actually own this particular model. I do own an Amico receiver, and I'm friends with KE4EST. Michael and uh, he's a satellite TV hobbyist. So I've I've tend to if there's someone looking for just a easy to use, easy to set up satellite receiver. What I like about it is I find it's a little it's a little more more easier to use, better for like someone just getting into the hobby. Uh, it also has H two sixty five. So a lot of people, not all the channels are H two sixty five yet, but I can see in the future there'll be more channels with H two sixty five. My Amco receiver also was a receiver that I used a lot for like tuning my dish before I bought a meter because the uh, the tuner's sensitivity was so good. So when I was up, climbed up on a ladder and I was adjusting the skew on my C-band dish that I found my Amico receiver to be really, really good at like trying to f uh, get a weak signal and setting up a satellite dish without a satellite meter, just basically doing it with a TV set outside. So uh, and other things I like about it is it has a video in right, left, plugs like that like the your standard rcas because i've seen some where they come with the uh basically like that little headphone jack type plug with uh the video and uh stereo audio in it and those things i've never seen one that i liked they always are giving me grief so this is nice if you're if you're going to hook it up to a standard definition tv so let's say if you're outside and you have an old little tv uh this uh you'll be able to bring that outside and uh, run it off connects to the internet there it has a few web features uh, it has an hd out he does have a channel on youtube and he's given a demo on the satellite receiver so i'd recommend checking that out and i think when you buy it from uh from him he, uh from uh ke4est over on ebay um he will sell you an a north american plug for it and that's a big thing with a lot of these uh receivers they come with um uh plugs uh, that are that it might you got to watch out for the plug make sure you got the proper north american plug for it now you can get some of these things here and they, there is some of these cheap ones and i haven't tried every one of them out uh one thing i want to tell you about the cheap ones you might want to be a little bit tech savvy you might find these on ebay or whatever but i find you have to manually enter all the satellites yourself so yeah you might see one here like uh 20 30 bucks some dirt cheap ones here but with this one here it's uh, at 88 dollars us so it's it's not that hard to set these things up but there is a bit of uh, going in the menu and configuring that with setting up free air and also i d i do have to mention that there is the edison os mile from our friends over at satellite galore this uh, satellite receiver definitely has some bells and whistles that you might not get with some of the other uh, uh, cheaper receivers. Also, you can get tech support on this over at TVROSAT. So there's a forum that will give you guys, if you bought this and you're looking for some tech support, you can go to TVROSAT and they'll be the community there will be happy to help you out with this. So I, I have this one myself too. And what I like about it is basically, I don't know if you use the, the thing like the HD home run, and that's one thing I really like about this. The HD Home Run is like this this uh, over-the-air tuner where it allows you to carry your phone or any device, really. But say your phone and uh, go around and um, watch TV from anywhere where your Wi-Fi is. I can change the channel with the app, an app on my phone and uh, watch TV anywhere on my network. Hey, if you are looking to use a VPN service and you're not signed up for one now, you should really have a VPN. The uses for it will make the internet so much better. You'll be able to use, when you're surfing from home, you'll have the privacy. You can watch videos from streaming services that might not be available in your country. And also, if you're going to use public Wi-Fi from your phone or 
when you're when you're out it's great to have expressvpn so it secures and encrypts your data so when you're surfing on public wi-fi they're not stealing your facebook passwords or your youtube password or something like that that they could use that a hacker could use uh, against you and steal your data. So it protects your data. It's just a great service to have. I highly recommend it. I do have a referral link in this video. I'd ask if you're interested, please click on that link and sign up. And it'll help me by giving me a nice little commission for signing up for ExpressVPN. And if you want to get more information about ExpressVPN, check out the video I did on my channel where I've gone into the uses using a ExpressVPN. I use the term watch American Netflix, but you can do so many other things with a VPN. I've seen motors of various prices. Some are secondhand. Uh, I do have a motor. So if you want to go to multiple satellites and your receiver will move it. And the cool thing with the motor is, if I talk about this for a sec, if you did want to get a, a mo uh, eventually get a motor, so the, the motor actually sends power through your satellite receivers. And so it actually, you don't need, now if the KU band dish, you don't need an extra power cable going out to the dish to power the motors, which uh, I really liked on my old motor. Now I had mine, uh, I, I've seen people set it up upside down. I don't know if it's for different air parts of the world or whatever, but I actually had mine the other way around and it worked quite well. And of course you're gonna need coax cable. Now this is kind of an iffy thing. It's not a one size fits all thing. You'll have to figure out what, how much you'll need to get to your TV set from the outside the house. Now, if you currently have like a satellite dish from a subscription that maybe you canceled, you can use their cable, their uh, coax cable, definitely a satellite. Now cable might be a different story because uh, you, you need to be using RG6 cable so that's the one thing you want to search for is coax cable. Make sure you get RG6. There's different YouTube videos that'll teach you how to uh, um, put on the twist tie end ones. I tend to just do the twist on end ones uh, and then I just wrap it up with electric tape to uh, just to secure it in from water. And I've had that outside and I haven't really had any problems with it over the years. So I hope that gave you a little bit of a look at how it would be to get started into the free to air hobby of what dish and receiver for a starter would be. Now for more information, please check out my YouTube channel. I have many playlists on various technology things, including free satellite TV. And also check out some of my videos here on the Ottawa Octane YouTube channel, which is my channel. There's many videos here on my channel that will definitely help you save money. more videos on this channel but for whatever reason they're hiding them from view there should be like a thing to get more videos